Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our second summer virtual session titled Moving In and Moving On. I'm Charles Holm Tope, and I serve as Director for Richard's Life at the University of Vermont, or UVM. In this session, we will be walking you through every step of the process, including confirming your room assignment, connecting with your roommate, preparing to arrive on campus, and what we recommend packing. We will also include details about one of the most exciting times of the school year, opening day. To begin, I want to share some important tasks to complete before you arrive to UVM. Before you arrive at campus, make sure you double check your moving date and time in the housing portal. If you are 18 or under, make sure you fill out the proxy agreement on the housing portal website as well. Soon, we will be sharing links to our dedicated move-in website pages, which will have all of the information you will need to arrive on campus for your move-in. Be sure to spend some time with our list of recommended items and our guided guides for prohibited items. More details will be sent via email. One exciting feature of our move-in pages will be driving through videos for each of our four campuses here at UVM. Here's, here's a sneak peek of one of them. Hello everyone, and welcome to our move-in traffic guide. A majority of students will be traveling northbound on I-89. If this is your route, then you will take exit 14W. Once you exit the highway, you are going to merge one lane over so that you are in the middle of three lanes, unless you are heading to Trinity Campus. In that case, you can stay in the far right lane. The same is true if you are heading southbound on I-89. Again, you will take exit 14W. The off-ramp to this exit will split into two lanes. The right lane will take you towards Trinity, and the left lane will put you in the middle lane, where you can either follow Main Street all the way down to South Prospect Street, or you can exit right and cross Main Street towards Athletic Campus. For this example, we will be heading to Trinity Campus, so we will be taking the right lane all the way down East Ave. Near the end of East Ave, there will be a stop sign. You can go straight through this, but right now it's blocked by construction in this video. After that, you will turn right at the light. Shortly after you make that turn, you'll take one more left turn to enter Trinity Campus. Let's head over to Macaulay, where Max will give us some more move-in details. Hi there, my name's Max. Welcome to Trinity Campus. Let's talk about moving. Once you arrive, you'll be directed to your specific residence hall where you will unload your belongings into bins. The main goal is to keep traffic flow moving so that every student will have a quick and easy time moving in. With that in mind, we ask that folks unload their belongings from their car as fast as possible and move their car to long-term parking to minimize congestion. To make this easier, you'll find moving parts and volunteers located at each hall. Before you can move in your belongings to your room, you'll need to get your key. For some locations like the cottages, you'll receive multiple keys. All of the keys for Trinity Campus are in Macaulay Hall right behind me, so you'll need to check in at the front desk here. One person should stay with your belongings while you go get your key. Once you have your key, you can make your way to your room. Please don't hesitate to ask for help from one of our many eager volunteers. If you are moving in before your roommate, make sure you leave your items in your portion of the room. 
While we know it'll be exciting to get everything unpacked right away, make sure you're on time for your orientation session at 3 p.m. Know that there are multiple days before classes start to get yourself situated. Have fun. Thanks, Max, so much. Now here's a glance at what you will see when you log into the housing portal. At the top of this page, you will see information about your resident hall, including the hall itself and your room number. At the bottom of the page, you will view the date and time assigned for you to move in. We ask that you stick to your assigned time slot to ensure for a smooth experience for a move-in day here at UVM. You can also see details about your roommate. The most important is here is your net ID seen here at the top side. This will help you to locate your roommate in the UVM directory and will also give you easy access to your roommate's email address. To make things easy, a net ID is always at the first part of an email address followed by our domain name. So if you like to contact your roommates before moving, simply add UVM at edu to the end of their net ID to contact them. We strongly recommend connecting with your roommate before you arrive. While it's fine to meet your roommate during moving day in person, it can be helpful to coordinate with them in advance of opening day, especially if you plan to share items or contribute to the course of items. It is much easier to be proactive and make sure everyone is on the same page than to arrive on campus confused during moving day. On this slide, we have some frequent asked questions, what we would like to answer for you before move-in day. One is, can I change my date and time slot? As mentioned previously, we have mapped out move-in times across two days and throughout our four campuses in order to best facilitate traffic flow and logistics. Because your orientation schedule is determined by your move-in day, we ask that you please stick to your date and time to check in. Two, will my roommates have the same time slot? Not always. We recommend reaching out to coordinate with your roommates. If you have concerns about or have questions about coordinating the arrival of shared time and items, please reach out ahead of time to coordinate those efforts. Three, what if my time slot is 2 p.m. and orientation starts at 3 p.m.? This is common and will not be and will not be a problem. We have plenty of time to unpack, settle in, and decorate your room after orientation. Now I would like to transition into talking about packing. We know packing for college life can be a daunting task. So we hope that all of we hope that automation can help you to decide what to bring to campus during opening day. In our first session, you met Shelby, one of our phenomenal RAs here at UVM. And she shared with you a lot of good takeaways to get you prepared for opening day. Shelby is back to run through what to bring and what not to bring to campus. Shelby, take it away. Hi there, welcome to the University of Vermont. My name is Shelby and I'll be helping you with your move-in today. Let's get started. Remember, less is more. If you can't fit it in your car, you probably can fit it in your room. You can ship items to your residence hall up to two weeks before your move-in date. You can find your mailing address on the RestLife website. Make sure to grab one of these handy carts and start loading your things in, but keep an eye out for prohibited items. Now let's talk about some common violations. Did you check the terms and conditions? Visit our website for a complete list of prohibited items. But let's talk about the most common. Candles and incense? Nope, we're a smoke-free campus. Toasters and hot plates are out too. And no LED lights. Just stick to string lights and don't hang them from the ceiling. Anything with a heating element, including space heaters, are a no-go. No extension cords either. We prohibit daisy chains, but if you need a surge protector, make sure it has a UL label on it. Avoid spider, lava, and halogen lamps. 
Pets are not allowed except for a fish in a 10 gallon tank. We make exception for service animals and emotional support animals when recommended by Student Accessibility Services to ensure all students receive the support that they need. Drug paraphernalia is a big no. And if you're an outdoor enthusiast, make sure your camping supplies don't violate any policies. No big knives or camp gas containers. Come on, let's go. Hey UVM, welcome to my triple. These are some of my must-haves. Hamper, shower caddy, shower shoes, disinfectant wipes, emotional support stuffed animal from home, lamp, pillow, blanket, mattress topper, must-haves, fridge, microwave, box fan, medications, personal documents, identification. This is your closet. Make sure to bring hangers, but not too many clothes. Here's the furniture in your room. It may vary across campus. Here's your desk. It'll also come with a set of drawers that you can use as a cabinet or a bedside table. Hemmicking is a really big part of UVM culture. Some people bring their own, but I won this one participating in a res life survey. We love posters and tapestries, but here are some rules. Use sticky tack, no push pins, command strips, or double-sided tape and nothing on the ceiling or windows. It's also important to not bring weapons of any kind. Bring a fridge and a microwave. You can rent both through the bookstore, but we recommend connecting with your roommates before you arrive to decide how many fridges and microwaves you will need. As for cleaning supplies, a small trash can, disinfectant spray or wipes would be good. We supply recycling bins and compost bags and vacuums are available at the front desk but you can bring your own. If you bring a bike, don't forget a lock. Again, my greatest pro tip is to connect with your roommates before you arrive to see what everyone has planned to bring and to avoid duplicates. We discourage from making extra trips to Target or Walmart on the day that you move in. The streets and stores will be jam packed full of students and parents. So we recommend shipping or bringing necessities and waiting to shop until you're settled in with your existing belongings. On move-in day, there is no need to arrive early. We ask that you arrive at your designated time, get your key, and fill up your cart. Then move into your assigned long-term parking location. Before you unpack, complete your room condition form. We use the reports to keep track of damage to each room. Be sure to complete the form to avoid unnecessary charges. Plus, everyone who completes gets entered into a giveaway. Start unpacking your things, say your goodbyes, and head to orientation at 3 p.m. And don't be late. You'll have plenty of time to continue unpacking later. You'll have your first circle with your RA that evening. It's mandatory. Make sure to sit down with your roommate to complete your roommate agreement after your first RA circle. I'm going into my fourth year living on campus, so let me give you my final advice. Move-in and orientation can be both really exciting and overwhelming. Don't stress about getting your room perfect on the first day. Remember that you have two to three days before classes start to continue settling in and find your footing. During this time, I encourage folks to focus on connecting with their roommates and start setting expectations for living together. College can be a challenging transition, so be kind to yourself. You'll find your friends, just be open and take in all the new experiences. If you need help at any point, contact your RA. Remember that they are there to support you and that they're your number one resource. Thank you for joining us. See you at Week of Welcome and Cats at the Fair. Thanks, Shelby, for the useful tips. If you want more information about what to bring to campus and what to bring to campus, please visit our department website and the housing contracts terms and conditions for more details. Now, my favorite part to opening day. We know that transition to a brand new community can be a lot. We know from research that the first six weeks of getting used to a new environment can present you with challenges. During the first six weeks, we have planned a variety of events throughout campus for all students to take part and build community and engagement. I especially, I'm especially excited for you to experience the Champagne Valley Fair. 
a new opportunity that we are planning for our first year students to take part and participate in the fair and all expenses covered by the department. We will be transporting our students to and from the Champaign Valley Fair. We will cover food vouchers and all rides for our students here at the university. Now, this is how we build community here at UVM and we are investing in you, our students. As you can see, our events and communities are one way that we engage our students. We also encourage you to, you to be open to your peers about the challenges you may face while on campus during the first six weeks. Our professional staff live, live within the department are always available to support you throughout your time here at UVM. There are a number of campus partners, such as the Center for Health and Wellbeing, which are designed to help you navigate any difficult moment you may experience here at UVM. Parents, guardians, and caregivers can help with the transition too. Families, consider your role during move-in day. How can you support your student as they navigate this new beginning here at, here at UVM? Help your student re remain calm. There are, are plenty of times for your student to get settled in during move-in day. Ensure that your student is fully engaged in orientation by taking part in one of the best ways to make their transition seamless here at UVM. And finally, make sure you give your students space to allow them to focus on the transition to college life. Students, once you have arrived to campus and move in, we have prepared a number of exciting welcome events just for you. In addition to the Champaign Valley Field that we are gonna be sponsoring here in campus housing, we have many other plans lined up during the first weeks of campus. Now, now in our second year of UVM GLOW, we welcome you to join us on campus with, with a night of black lights events happening on campus like Glow in the Dark Mini Golf. Join us for our annual field day full of games to introduce incoming students to UVM sports programs and facilities, and they're really cool. We are also presenting a night at the movies. Join us for the cinematic fun where each campus will be showing a different movie with theme food trucks on those days scheduled with movie nights, all covered by campus housing. Plus, each learning community will be hosting a block party to welcome you to campus. We realize that while we have tried to cover many common questions, that you may have other questions for us. Now that we have reached the end of the content for this session, we would like to open up for Q&A Submit your questions in the chat box and we can answer them for you. If your questions do not get answered by me, we have other staff on in the session to help out to provide a response to your question. So one question that was posed to the group, are there laundry facilities available on campus? Yes, they are and they are free. Um, throughout our halls. Um, I can share too, in January and December of 2023, UVM partnered, um, partnered and with a new vendor and we installed 336 new washers and dryers throughout campus. So the laundry is part of your room fees and they're built in. Another question is that came through the chat box is, how are, roommate con how are roommate conflicts handled? Um, we, um, as Shelby said, part of living with students is creating a roommate agreement that really, really helps you to facilitate um, the do's and don'ts in your community. And we use that as a blueprint to help students connect, but also live together in their spaces. However, if there is conflict, we ask that you work with your RA that lives in your in your building or on your floor, and they're able to really help you to navigate that. RAs are trained during the whole month of August um, around conflict mediation skills, etc. If the RA is unable to resolve the conflict, we have in our staff in our buildings 
live-in professional master's degree staff called hall directors or area coordinators, and they're able to really step in to provide additional support if needed. One question that came through is what is the what, what is the policy for guests and visitors um, in the halls? So all, all resident hall students who live on campus have to escort their guests throughout the buildings at all times throughout while the guests while the guests are visiting. Um, if guests are not escorted throughout the halls and if they violate policy here at the university, those students who, who let them into the building will be held accountable. So we encourage um, any guest of a resident to be escorted with them throughout the entire building while they are visiting us here at UVM. One question that came through is can students request uh, a room change um, um, to the assignment? Yes, um, you can always request a room change. We don't do room change until after um, the ad drop date. Um, and you'll get more details to that during our, during our next session on August 15th, and we'll be able to share that out. But yes, we do honor room changes at the university um, based on based on based on uh, availability here, availability in our inventory. One question that came through is what is what is the meal addresses for sending packages? Each campus community has a specific meal address to where students should address their packages to. If you go into our website, you'll be able to find the information that's in the link um, in the link uh, in the chat box um, to see those specific um, addresses where you can mail your belongings to. One question is where do students go to, to, to pick up their mail? In your communities, in your buildings, there are um, what is called front desks and you can pick up your mail and also your packages in your community. So everything gets shipped and transported to your hall for you to go downstairs and pick up and claim your belongings. One question is, do families help students unpack and then leave, or is there a family um, meeting that night? Families are more than welcome to stay on campus and help their student unpack um, their belongings in their rooms. Uh, many parents do do that. Um, also, many parents and, and our students will, will travel to Target or Walmart to purchase stuff as well. But yes, parents are more than welcome to help their um, their child, their student to unpack. There is no, um, we don't have an actual parent event um, during move-in, um, but there are tons of opportunities for, 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 for parents to travel campus, really get to know um, get to know the campus community. It's a beautiful campus community. Uh, one question is, um, did I hear you say no command, no comment strips? So as Shelby mentioned, we have um, do's and don'ts as to what not to bring to campus. And so that is one that, um, she, sh that she shared. Um, those items are not permitted in the residence halls. And to learn more about the do's, the, what, what, what you can and cannot bring, if you visit our housing contract, it gives you um, the full list of what what things are allowed and not allowed in the community. One question that comes through is: Has the move-in dates and times been posted to the housing portal? Um, yes, they are being they are being released on a rolling basis. And please keep your eye out via email. We will be sending out on August fifth releasing all room all room assignments to all students living on campus. So you'll get that officially on August 5th. Um, and then you can check your housing portal. You'll get that get, get that information via email. Okay. I'm not seeing any more questions that's coming through the chat box. Scrolling through the chat to see are there any questions that I left out. I think I captured every single question that was presented by our students or our families on this call. Well, let me say that we have enjoyed being here this evening with each of you and sharing with you our housing um, plans to open up our halls this coming August. If your question um, did not get answered by me, in the chat box, please feel free to, to reach out to reslife at uvm.edu uvm and we will follow up, follow up with you individually. It has been a pleasure to be in space with each of you this evening and I hope
that all of the information shared is useful as you prepare to travel to UVM in August. I look forward to seeing you on our next session next month, um, our last session as well, titled Living in Community, which will feature all of our 142 RAs who live in our buildings and our hall directors and area coordinators in those communities. Until then, go Cats, and we'll see you soon.